Hey guys, welcome back. It's Watch His Face, and we're starting our third episode of Kingdom today. Um, like I said in the last video, what I'm going to try to do today for this one is uh, expand far enough to start building the boat. And just uh, hopefully, if we're possible, well, if we're able, be able to fully build it. And then maybe leave the island, but I'm not sure. Well, actually, we're not ready for that yet. We do not have nearly enough troops on this island. Because one of the things I don't like about this game, as much as I love it, is um, once you leave an island, your old fortifications still like fall apart, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I mean, I understand why they do it, but I just don't like that they do it. Ugh, because it means that I could be on island 4 and all the guys on um, island 1 will have been losing all their fortifications and crap since um like i left the island so you got to keep going back and forth between all the islands to be able to keep your offenses up but the goal and if possible i think we're going to try and get the griffin and maybe some more farmers we'll at least expand to get the boat today and once we do all that we'll see where it goes Ooh, okay, these walls don't seem secure, but might that may just be the lighting in here. Let's see. Ooh, thank you very much. We will use those coins to expand the heck out of this game. Alright. Builder, please thank you. Thank you for getting inside the walls. Uh the AI in this game is not always not always the best, but you know what? I can forgive it most of the time. Oh, I just love this music. It's like really... Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. Because like once your bag starts to spill over, they'll like fall into the river sometimes. You'll drop coins, and sometimes they fall into the river. And that's not the best. Luckily, we don't have to worry about blood moons yet. And since that hasn't really become a part of the game, then I don't have to worry about explaining it. But... That will become a part later. Okay. Let's get these trees going. We'll rush some builders out. We'll go quickly to this camp. Hire these boys. I think we'll turn one of them into a builder and one of them into a... Oh, we do not want that chest right now. Crap. Please, thank you. Anywhere right now. We're gonna focus um, getting all this stuff taken care of. Right, uh, you boys, you'll be okay if I make it all the way back to camp, right? And just do the quick thing with the uh, eat, eat, eat. Alright, we just wanna get back to the center, deal with the trader and the banker. I'll go ahead and buy a hammer. Farmers are doing good. I don't want to collect your money right now. We're going to put a crap ton into the banker. You know what? We'll turn one into a farmer. Mr. Bankerman. You take you know what, you can have more than that. Because we only need, I think, uh, one to build the first wall, and then three or four to upgrade it, but I can't remember for 100% certainty. But we'll go out, because they should have been able to get the wall built by now. Or not the wall built, but like a area cleared enough that we can start building it. And let's hope that we get... I mean... Yeah, we've got time. I hope. They're gonna have to... Leg it to get out here. But... Let's see. Okay, so we got this totem here. 
for the archers. If we get any gems on this island, I can't remember if there's a gem box on the first island. But if we get any, it's gonna be just for um uh the griffin. Because he has a really cool power where he can Alright guys, you work on that. I'm gonna drop some security coins. Alright, that's all good. We'll build ourselves an archer tower right here. And then we'll upgrade this to level 2. Because now that we have the boat inside the walls, we won't have to worry as much. But we still need a lot more troops. Ah, crap, crap, crap. Sorry for swearing, but I'm just worried. Please, 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 please. Oh, thank God. Mm. Okay. We'll start. I can't remember, because on the first one or two islands, it's easier to build the boat. I think they, I think you only have to buy it, and then they'll immediately build it to max. But on the later islands, you have to pay for each piece of wood you get and they have to go out and build each piece which is really really annoying but I just I forgot how easy it was to get the boat on this island so that means we might be able to um, uh, expand more than I was expecting which is great you give me all your money you give me all that you come here. Alright. You guys give me all your money. And we'll hire these two guys. Because my goal is to have as many archers as possible. We'll go ahead and expand the left side as soon as we get the chance. Empty out the pockets. Alright, oh, oh, so he's ready. Good. Alright, I don't know how long this video is going to be now that I think the boat might actually be done, but it's great. I wish there was another wall section between this really long like place right here. It worries me that there isn't, because this island, when it gets overwhelmed once I leave it, it's really annoying. Oh, yeah, nice. The boat's gonna be done. Then I think I just have to pay a coin to set sail, and I'll I can ring the bell to like call as many troops as I can to the boat, which is really nice. Since we're right here, we'll go ahead and get these troops. We'll grab this treasure chest. What is over here? Oh, it's the dock portal. Crap. Okay, that's... Wait, I don't know. Mm. I don't know if I want to expand all the way to there. I don't think I have the resources to build a lighthouse yet. But a lighthouse is what you build in the later games. Because every time you go to a new island, unless you have built a lighthouse, your boat crashes. Which is not great. Because you have to rebuild it from scratch. And the only way to build a lighthouse is to get all the way to that, like, that big black goopy thing on the ends of the piers and destroy it. But I don't know if... You, I can't remember if you need... S if you can build a wooden lighthouse. Uh, well, we might as well destroy the portal if we get the chance anyway, but... I can't have knights yet, so... We'll see. We might save that for next episode. We'll do, we'll expand as far as we can to it without like accidentally setting it off, and then we'll save that problem because like a a big thing in this game is like if you build your wall too close to like a portal, because your archers will go out and explore and try and forage for like food and rabbits and stuff and deer to get coins, 
then your um, archers will accidentally attack the portal because they get too close to it or they'll activate it and we I really gotta get better about not doing that because it's bad when that happens Come on, greed. Ah, no, 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 no. Thank you for not spilling over. Hey, right, here they come. Yeah, but as you can see, like, the more archers you have, the more total precision and accuracy they have. Which is what I strive for in this game, because you... It gets really hectic really fast. Okay, we can't go all the way here. Guy, yes. Recruit. And then we'll get back to town hall. Pay the trader. Builders will deal with all of that. They'll get that wall fixed in time, hopefully. Alright, the boat is pretty much ready. I just gotta pay the coin to set sail. I don't know if I want to do that in this video. But... I think... What we'll do is we might upgrade that stone. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and... Actually, no, we'll do that last. Because I don't want to take away an archer from either side until I know for sure that I have enough guys. Eat up real quick, buddy. Alright, banker man. You come over here. Mr. Trader. Nice. All of this, because we want as many archers as we can get. Ugh. This game seems peaceful, but it gets really, really hectic really, really fast. So these guys, we'll hire them, and then I need a lot more builders. I wonder if I can get uh, Kingdom Classic on the PlayStation. I doubt it, but it would be nice. Right, we'll go ahead and get what the farmers have got for us. So that'll help us prepare for the next set of expansion and everything. I'm not worried about the right side at all. They've got plenty of guys. It's the left side I'm worried about. But if we can expand, if we can get one of the camps in our um, place, that'd be very nice. Okay, that guy I think is going to become an archer, but we'll worry about him in a second, after this night has passed. Right, boat. I'm not going to decide until the end of the episode, but we'll see what we do with the boat. I have a feeling we'll try and get to at least to the portal. maybe each portal on this island. That way, at least when we come back, we'll just have to quick rebuild all the walls and towers for cheap. And we won't have as much to worry about. Alright. This is kind of interesting because I'm not entirely sure what to do. I'm just going to try and expand. But, okay, Nightfall's coming all my troops are going to get in the walls. The one thing I don't like is sometimes the archers travel into the base so far during the day that they have to run all the way back here like that guy on the right. Alright, you guys. But yeah, now we're getting to the good problems that I have with this game. Is that how you, some, you slowly start to get so much money that it like a, like starts to hurt you eventually, but <sighs> why were all those guys in the center? Or to the right side. Please don't do that. Like, it's important that you guys are over here to defend. Because eventually my base will get so big that they can't go that far in. Okay. This guy's getting the coin. Don't really care, but we'll just follow him. Oh, this guy? Oh, there's a mound right there. Ah. That would be nice to have, but... Dang, I can expand really far. 
I'm gonna send one builder out. Hopefully he can get there and get back in time. Because if not, I mean, I'm gonna buy two more builders now anyway. But. We'll build an archer tower here. So that. Come on, pick up the coin. Thank you. We'll build an archer tower right here. So let's see what good night it is. Uh, night 14, I believe. Yeah. Once it gets up into the higher nights, it starts to lo lose count because I'm not the best with Roman numerals all the time. Like once it gets to like night 50 and 100 and stuff, I'm not the best. Build this archer tower and get it upgraded to level 2. That way we have some defense out there for when that builder hopefully comes back alive. But yeah, you guys, you go to the center. We'll pay the banker, or the trader, and then we'll just start working from there. This might be a shorter episode. Might just do another, like, uh, ten minutes or so. No, oh, shorter. It's already been, what, fifteen minutes? I'm not entirely sure, but we need more builders. That's a good thing they cost so much. You and I think as the days go by, the trader gives you less and less money. But I can't remember. Yep, two guys over here. One, more. One will at least be a builder. Can I destroy this tree? Dang, I can't. I was hoping I would be able to, because then I can start pushing further into the forest. I can't remember if you can destroy the hermit's or the tra trader's um, hut, but I don't want to risk it. Alright, Mr. Bankerman, you come here, get all your money. Ah, lag. You collect your coins for the day. We'll stop by the farmers. Okay, you guys run. Eventually get to the point where... Okay, good. I got three farmers working. That's good to know. All the way to this side. We'll expand. Please tell me that one builder got in. We'll find out when we get out there, because we might find just an abandoned guy. Let's hope. But I like to have at least three or four builders per side. I have a feeling these guys made it. But we'll have to see. There's the great herb. Oh wait, let me see. Because uh, there's a way I can increase field of view. Okay, yeah, three is the best. I like how there's only two field of view settings, but I like to play on the widest setting so I can see more. I don't know why they have that setting, I guess just to like see better close-ups, but I think that the wider the setting, the better it is. Because then you can see more guys when they're coming to get you. Yeah, we do not want to get too close to that. But since I put coins out here so early, I think, yeah, there goes one. Second builder should be up. Alright. The goal right now. Uh, it will just go dump all of this in the bank. And I think that's where I'm going to start calling the episode. We'll check out the right side a little bit, see if we can expand a little bit over there. But my goal for this uh, episode was to get the boat built, and we pretty much do. I just gotta like put in the final two coins to launch it into the water, and then we can set sail whenever I feel we need to. But 
I think that'll be it. We'll buy... Uh, we'll, we'll just focus on archers right now. Yep, see, there goes one coin. But we'll focus on archers right now. Because that is a great... All the rest of our guys should be archers. So yeah, we'll focus right side for the remainder of this video, because I really would like to expand far enough to not have to have this one line of defense on this, this wall. So whenever the next uh, little, I think they're called Vagabonds is the game name for them, comes out of the tent, he can pick that coin up and get his bow and arrow. We want to have those maxed out. Good over here. But yeah, we'll focus right side. Then we'll double check left side. And then I'm going to call it. But yeah. Uh, if you have any like suggestions or comments, please leave them down below. In the after the description and everything. But, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode so far. I know it's been a pretty slow compared to the other ones before, because we completed the goal so early in the runtime of the video, but so far it's been nice. Hasn't that guy spawned yet, or did one of my stupid archers pick up the coin instead? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if like I saw another guy run in. Yeah, you know what? I'll leave two. That way, in case he comes out, he can get there. Maybe before the greed gets him. Alright, looks like we're getting a nice little bit of... At least a nice setting of archers on each side. It's always good to have that. Keep, I'm keeping an eye on the right side right now, seeing if anyone runs in. Doubt they will. think I've got everything. This guy seems to be doing pretty good. Is that everybody? Nice. Um, just for funsies. Okay, let's see. It's gonna be a... Dang, I forgot how far we were gonna have to get over here. I'm about to find the stamina for my horse. We might have to destroy the camp. It's really far out here. Start walking. Because I don't know if there's another clearing. The clearings are those little areas where you can see the background more. And they're not like shrouded by the trees. Right, there's the griffin. We don't have any gym boxes on this island though, so... I mean, I'll have to come back and get them. That's maybe a good reason to... I don't know if this counts as a clearing. Okay, it does, but this is way too far right now to expand. So I might have to destroy the Vagabond camp. But I'm going to focus on getting my Monarch back to the kingdom. Get to the trader and everything. We'll wait out the night. Double check the left side, expand that as far as we can. And then I'm going to call it. Yeah, I don't remember what hermit this is, but the hermit's on... There's at least... Oh, wait, the archer thing. So, yeah, I think he's able to upgrade, like, level 5 archer towers or level 6 archer towers to, like, ballistas, which is really nice. But those can... Those are very interesting. Those are great if you have two archer towers stationed next to each other, but beyond that, they're not much because they can only shoot one direction and it takes them a little while to reload. But I'm just looking forward to getting catapults. I don't remember if in the update you can only get catapults at a, a certain level. I think like iron or something, but um, I think you can get them in stone. 
which would be very, very nice, considering everything that's been going on. We'll just pour a bunch of coins into the banker, because we're going to get a bunch from the farmers, and that'll be more than enough to um, upgrade everything. They must have just got this harvest growing, but that's okay. These archers over here have been getting a lot. Might build that archer tower. These these guys are moving over here. We'll stop for a second here. Get that coin, let the horse get some food. Get that stamina back up, and here we are. Anything interesting? Not really. Doesn't really get that way until in game. And night. Holy crap. Okay, that was a lot of coins. Night. Yeah, this is day 15. No, sorry, 16. Holy crap. Yep, yep, there goes the coins. There goes the coins. Oh boy. It's a blessing and a curse. Yeah, well, how many builders do I have over here? Three. Okay, that should be fine. I just want to make sure we didn't lose one, because builders are very, very important to the progression of this game, even more so than maybe archers. Because without them, you can't level up and everything. We'll double check this guy, we'll recruit people from this camp. There should be one, two, yep. I love it when a plan comes together. Alright, I want the builder to destroy this tree. And then I'm gonna hopefully, okay there's a mound right here, I'm gonna hopefully get these trees destroyed. Uh, these three right here, leave this one so we can keep the camp. But that is my goal. Uh, at this point, overflow doesn't really matter. It's just down to um, getting everything together and ha having overflow at this early stage of the game does not predict anything for the future because you will start spending upwards of 15 coins on the higher level stuff every time you upgrade it's like 15 or higher I know to get to like the max level of town hall it's like 30 or 40 coins which is a lot so that builder should be done these trees should start to in the background, if you watch them, see the bushes are starting to disappear. Stuff like that. Like that, they just start to vanish. Get this. And just come on, that's all I need you to do today. That's all that's gonna be good for the kingdom. Alright, there we go. And back to Town Hall we go. I don't know if you run um, slower with more money. I wouldn't put it past this game to have that. Um, a, or it's not really an ability, but that... I don't know ex the exact name, but it's not ability. It's like feature, I guess, is the right word. But um, I wouldn't put it past this game. Because I know there, there are different like animals that have different speeds. I think the griffin is much I think the griffin is slightly faster than the horse. It might be much faster, I can't remember. But um there's a thing on the second island I think or the third island called the stag and it runs much faster in those wooded areas. Like it like gallops almost way faster than the horse. But outside of them I think it's slightly slower than the horse. Alright so you just dump a bunch of coins out here. You give me your coins and let me pay you. He'll come back the next night. Bunch of these guys. Hire these guys. 
And that's where we're going to call this episode. Alright. As soon as this night ends. Yep, see that guy goes back in his little hidey hole. Alright, and I'll throw in two builders for good measure. But this should be an easy night to survive now. But, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, uh, comment, and I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. That would just really help the channel and everything. But, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Kingdom Two Crowns. I don't know when the next episode is going to be coming out, because, uh, school week is starting up tomorrow. But, we'll see how that goes. Alright, let's just get through this night, and then I'll do the outro. But again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. And if you really want to be great, uh, share the video with uh, anyone you think would like it. Um, but, new day, new me. Yay. Put the banker all these freaking coins. And that'll be it.